Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to get a little bit more personal than I usually do and I will be sharing with you how I achieved my body goals. So in this video, I'm actually not going to talk about any numbers in the sense of how many kilos that I lost or what my weight goal was because actually that wasn't an important factor for me because with numbers, I feel like it's so relative to body height, body shape and your build. So I'm going to focus on the tools that really helped me achieve my ideal body shape. So I'm going to start off by addressing the concern that I have. So I am, you know, I have got a small build, I've got small bones, I don't have a lot of fat on my body, but my main concern was belly fat and it was so stubborn and so hard for me to get rid of. I would work out five days a week, I'd do lots of cardio, but I just wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And I feel like belly fat is something that we can all relate to. It's a very hard area to get rid of. And once I changed some of the things that I was doing wrong, it really made a big difference, as you can see from my before and after photos. So I wanna keep this video short and sweet and just get right to it. So one thing that I feel like is pretty obvious when I sort of say it out loud, but I didn't realize how much it actually impacted in my journey of reaching my ideal body shape. And it is diet. So what I was doing was, like I said before, I was exercising every day, doing lots of cardio, but I wasn't changing my diet. And therefore I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. And someone that I worked with actually pointed out that diet is actually 80% of your, you know, your regime or your plan that you should alter and 20% should be the exercise portion of it. So one thing that really helped me um, target my belly fat and um, helped me get into the body shape that I wanted was intermittent fasting. Now, I am someone that is not a big fan of gimmicky diets or crash diets. I feel like you know, they set you up for failure, but intermittent fasting was something that I found was achievable and sustainable um, and got the results that I wanted. So the type of intermittent fasting that I specifically followed was the 16-8 method. So what that entails is you fast for 16 hours and then you restrict your eating period into eight hours of the day. So for example, um, after 9 p.m., I wouldn't eat anything until one o'clock in the afternoon the following day. And the reason why this was easier for me to do was because I was someone that I would often skip breakfast. I might have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning. And then I actually wouldn't eat anything until, you know, one, two in the afternoon anyway. So there was not a big change that I had to make. The only part with the intermittent fasting that I had trouble with was I am a snacker. I am notorious for snacking throughout the night before I go to bed and my sleep habits weren't very good either. So I would sometimes fall asleep at 1am, 2am in the morning and up until that time I would be snacking on junk food basically. So once I got into the habit of really sticking to the intermittent fasting, I saw a massive difference with my body. Okay, so the next thing that was really important in helping me with my body shape journey, as I like to call it, I don't like to say weight loss, like I said, I just feel like numbers is just so pointless in, you know, achieving goals. It just puts so much pressure on you, which I don't think is needed. So the final thing I wanted to speak about was exercise. I think we all are aware that exercise is a key component in helping us reach any body goal that we have. Um, like I said before, I'm someone that doesn't mind doing exercise, but when I don't see results, that's when it gets frustrating and not motivating to me, and I'm sure many of you out there. Uh, with my exercise routine, I wanted to keep it fairly simple and not complicate it too much by adding too many variables into it. So my routine was pretty straightforward. I would do an hour of like cardio a day, and then I would do some toning. So my cardio Im involved basically just walking, power walking for an hour or half an hour a day, whatever I could fit in. And then I would tone for 10 minutes a day. Now the toning is what some of you out there might be a little skeptical about. 
So the way that I did the toning was I actually used um, a power fit device, which is basically like a vibrating plate. And you'd stand on the plate for 10 minutes a day and it helps you tone all, all your muscles, your whole body actually. Um, and I will be the first one to say I do not fall for gimmicky products and like those infomercials that sell all these like wacky exercise devices and I was really really skeptical about it. Um, you know I went ahead and I purchased this, purchased it on a whim and I don't know I feel like it really helped me change my body and it really made a difference adding that to my exercise portion. I did it every day. Um, it might not work for everyone. This is just what worked for me. Now, before I end this video, I know that a lot of you may be thinking about the time frame that it took me to get from the before photo to the after photo. And honestly, I did not keep tabs on how much time that uh, there was between the two photos because I didn't put that pressure on myself. Uh, I feel like if you put a time frame um, on something, which sometimes it can be a good thing because it pushes you to work harder, but I didn't do it specifically because I didn't want to put pressure on myself. Because I am someone, if I don't meet or reach a deadline and I don't do it properly, I give up. So if I had felt that I'm not going to be able to reach that goal and be realistic about it, I'm someone that would have just stopped and not did it. And that's just who I am. So I didn't really, yeah, like I said, I didn't give myself X amount of months or weeks to complete this journey. But I want to say I had a good three to four months between those, those two photos. Um, and it's not just three months and then you're done. Honestly, your body, especially female bodies, I feel like it's, it's a cycle. Our bodies change over time. Our bodies change as we get older periods, pregnancy, so I feel like we are just on this cycle and I think it's a beautiful thing that our bodies change and they evolve and adapt to certain situations. So never put pressure on yourself and never compare yourself to anybody else or anybody else's journey. I'm sure that's like a given. Um, it's silly to think that two people are going to have the same journey, are going to reach the same goals in the same amount of time. That just doesn't happen. That doesn't happen with anything. And it certainly doesn't happen with bodies because I feel like bodies are one of the hardest things to change. So I hope you guys found this video informative and useful. If you did enjoy watching, then please like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.